Hallo, einen wunderschönen guten Abend zu unseren Freunden im deutschsprachigen Raum. Uh, Journey to the Chateau, neue Episode diese Woche. Uh, Katastrophe in der Gied. Gäste kamen uh, am Nachmittag und morgens habe ich eine Leckage in der uh, Wasserleitung festgestellt. Bonjour à tous. <lacht> Bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Cologne in Saint-Modell. And now Terry is speaking with friends from around the world. Uh, yes, so, a little bit of a catastrophe in the Jeet. Yes. Guests oh, were coming in the afternoon. Only hours before we had people arriving. Yeah. So, one of us always goes through just to do the last bits and just make sure that everything looks nice and, that, you know, we didn't forget anything. In this case, it was me and I was sitting there picking something up and I just heard a weird noise that I didn't know what it was from. And, well, Uh, it, it clicked in my head because we got a water bill two weeks ago. Right, and we have, uh, well, we have multiple meters here on the property. Yes. And uh, <laughs> one meter was much higher than it should have been. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So for the entire chateau in, what, I don't know, 16 months, um, it was uh, three times as high as the... Uh, built for the jeet, so with the little bit uh, the jeet was used, it should have been a much, much lower right. water bill. So when I heard that noise, mm -hmm. I had that awful feeling in the pit of my stomach, and I thought, oh, this is just not good. <laughs> right, so you investigated to see where it was coming from. Yes, and yeah. of course, right after the meter, not beforehand, no, right after the meter, there was this incredible amalgamation of a lot of things right you, which you will see <laughs> uh yeah there was uh, a hole but it wasn't like a little drip no it was a little gush right and surrounded by sand so that's why it was muffled for so long mm -hmm. in any case so i came over here and i said we have a little problem let me call tony maybe he has a suggestion of what we should do mm -hmm. and he answered the phone right away he did and he said what Uh, well, you told him what was going on, yep. and he said, I'll be right over. Click, click. Shadow of bells. Yeah. That one is already broken off completely. Yeah. yeah. That one doesn't move. That. So you got really. And if you go, I'm not even sure. Okay. This is the actual leak is here. I think <clears throat> it's got to be because it's up. Yes. Okay. Let's have a little turn this on and have a little think. Okay. At some point, they replaced the, the left part. Yeah. And who thought it was not a good idea to do the, all of it? So, <laughs> where does this go to? I have, uh, that is the outside spigot. So, that's the mains in, is it? That's, this is the mains in. Yes, thing. and that is the, that goes well, outside to spigot. Well, a garden tap. Yeah. A garden tap, right, okay. Okay. Are we using the garden tap? Yes. Okay. But it's not necessary. Okay, and they're moving in today. Yes, you of course. Guess today, of course you have. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. No, the hatch, you, it's actually, the, it's the valve itself. The valve itself is busted. Okay. Oh. So, yes. And we don't, you know, I mean, I can, It's really not that necessary to, to water the plants. I mean, I can okay, do that. Okay, so what we do is we'll look through here. There's, that's handy. 
there's a union here so we can disconnect it there disconnect the valve there and put a plug in it okay okay Yes, um. My God, is that rusted? Oh my word, yes. Yeah, this is not. Can you imagine how much sand I took out because none of this was visible? That's why it's all rusted <laughs> like that, isn't it? Bloody <laughs> hell! Really? That sounded really ugly. I'm Bloody aware of that. Hell. Now we need to replace all that. Yeah, I think we replace all of it. Yeah, please. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. That's ridiculous. Now, Patrick, you've got a leak here as well. Is it bad or just... No, it's not bad at okay, all. Okay, then, then I'm not What I'm saying it. is, we don't, I don't want to disturb anything else because the whole thing will fall apart if I do. It's just looking at it. Yeah. It, it's, it's deteriorating. Oh, my word, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And it, you know, it doesn't really need to be in that hole. No because I can put a wooden box on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> but we're fine, as long as we replace it and we don't let, and we don't leave that sand in there. Right. It'll be fine. And it will dry a bit more. Yes. But you've got a small leak on there, but it's not, it's not even dripping, but it's like a, if we touch it now, as I say. Then we go back to Bourges. Yes. <laughs> but Bourges don't have iron fittings. Oh no, they don't. So there's no grit risk. But we're okay. Three quarter inch. Three quarter Mac, inch. If we dig out all that muck and slash yes. underneath there, and then um, I might be able to reconnect this now that we know why, why there's no water going through it. R right. So I've, I'll buy some extra fixings, then we, we might get water over there. It's possible. Yeah. Unless, of course, the rest of the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we need to dig up everything, Stuart, and put it in plastic. Uh, yeah. Well. But as we dig there, that, that might even be plastic in that corner. Fingers crossed. Who knows? That would be nice, yeah. yes. Okay, so that, that is to our um, oh, outside was... tap. That's where that just snapped off. Bloody hell. That's where that snapped off there. No, I'm not going to do that, so that's okay. Look at it. Man, oh man. Was this here, this one? No, that that was, that was, um, that's to the, yes, that was to the- Because that's what uh, you put in. That's right. This was to the so outside tap. Yeah, the, the outside spigot here with yeah. the hose. Yeah. And that's what he capped off. Yeah. Okay. But this is, this is what just snapped off. We were so close to having a super flood Look at it though, bloody hell, man. And see, look here, the bottom of the tea has disappeared. Oh, yeah. Well, so we were unlucky to get a leak, but we was very lucky not to have a major. Because we get such good water pressure here, don't we? Oh, yeah. Okay. this stuff and the sheet is now hooked back up yes the problem I've got is this on the end of this pipe that you can't see which is which is underneath here 
there was a union and a union it, it attaches two bits of pipe and uh, two bits of metal pipe <clears throat> and that's what it does but unfortunately the pipe in here which is here has got the union on the end of it and this pipe is so corroded mm. that when I try to undo it it's twisted itself so it's buggered so we can't use that union now the idea is that I come off of here right yes right. come off of it with an elbow which we've got go across and go into the bottom of this but we can't now because this pipe's buggered so how so we drill a hole in the hole so the, the thing of it is this and then this one here is capped off obviously because we don't know what this is yes which is no problem now my problem is how do we come off of this and attach into that pipe when we don't have a threading machine a threading machine will put a bit of uh, will put a a a BSP British standard yes. thread on on the end of the end of a bit of pipe, right? Mm -hmm. But we don't have one of those, and we don't want to spend a thousand pounds buying one. Well, yes. So, <clears throat> now I'm just thinking that actually might do the job. Actually. That, I mean, I might have answered my own question here. That actually might go on to the end of the plastic pipe. Yes. And rejoin back up, but I don't know. That might be the solution. I don't know. So using that fitting, can we use that? No, we can't. It's too big. So that's answered that. We can't use that fitting. So it needs to be what? Three quarter? Yeah. Now, we could cut a piece of this pipe off here and take yes. it with us mm -hmm. and get that. And then get the equivalent of that part for that yeah. size. And right? then, because I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm talking out loud because I'm trying to talk yes, this out, yeah. but I've got an audience, which is good. So if we cut this, yep. take it with us, mm. if they do a, a fitting. And that's too, too fair, they have these. Yeah, uh, it's too fair back from their holiday. Yes. Good. So if we could join that onto there, that onto there and then get from there or whatever it is to three quarter inch off that elbow whatever we need that solves that solution that solves that problem then we need to get from that T at the top through and into that mild steel pot so it's the same it's that and that so it's, uh, is the same yes. of basically yes of okay. that. So that's three quarter inch, and we know that by trying this. Yeah. Do the lottery, do the lottery. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's you. Now, let's switch when we come back, we can cut a hole here yeah. yep. and then cut that pipe back and reattach with whatever we get. So we've got to get off of here with an elbow, which we've got two of. So elbow that way, elbow up. But our problem is getting from here to here and here to here with no threaded pipe. Now, we've got these, which I've used down there. Yes. But how do we get from there to there? That is the question. But that's not gonna do it. So. Could we use a longer one coming up through the floor, basically? I'm and thinking, then right I'm, angle think, over. I'm thinking a hose. And I'm thinking a flexible hose that yes. they sell. And if we can get from three quarter inch flexible hose to get onto that pipe, yes. mm -hmm. then we've cracked it. Yes. So let's go to two feet and see what we can find. So we're going to take with us, obviously, that tap. Oh. And we've got to, we've got to basically make up sort of 18 inches to get onto that and we need some sort of a fixing that they do to get onto it. I'm all excited. Okay. <laughs> so Tony right away was actually pretty quickly was able to get the the sheet hooked back up. Yes. Uh, so what what the way that's hooked up is that the water comes in from the main and then there's the meter and then there are four separate valves from in that in that pit 
right? So what we figured out was is that one is well, two. Can, can we just first say, I'm sorry, but we looked at each other and there, there's one line we all said, what on earth is this going to? Right. But, uh, we, but we figured I, that. We figured well, out. then there's another one where we thought, that doesn't go anywhere. Right. So, so it was really interesting. Right. So one goes, one was definitely for the jeet, right? And so one we knew was for the outdoor uh, spigot. Yes. Uh, for garden hose. And then there were two others. And one of them uh, sort of headed into the courtyard of the farm. And so mm. we were pretty sure that actually that was going to go to maybe one of the outbuildings. And then the fourth one actually started going towards the road. And yes. so that's the one we are still were not really <laughs> sure. So, uh, you know, to, after Tony repaired everything, that's still not really connected up. But no. what we figured out later is that there is another half to the farmhouse jeet. Yes, so with we have a, an, an, another jeet with exactly the same space. Right. But at this point, no bathroom. Right. And it did have a kitchen in it before that mm -hmm. had a sink. So we're pretty sure that that is where that one goes. Yes. That makes sense. Right. So uh, what we had to do then was we, we Tony wanted to help us figure out, because he was able to connect the one that had had, headed to the uh, farm buildings, to figure out what farm building is going to start getting water. Mm. Or all of them, or, you know, who knows what was going to happen. Some of them. None of them. So uh, with help with Tony, uh, Patrick and I were able to figure out that the outbuilding that the water was connected to was the Vacherie. Yes, the cow, big, big cow shed. And so we have now two working uh, faucets in there, or spigots. But it was interesting because uh, the pipes and spigots were not in very good shape. <laughs> and so uh, in order... That's an understatement. <laughs> so, so in order to uh, keep that as water to that barn, uh, we had to do a bit of repairing in the Basher reefers. Solid bar. Me too. Uh, luck, large, and more luck. We should be really saying anything, but that's fantastic. Stilson's. Ah, there. Oh, yeah, yes. Didn't see the other. There. There she is. That is a wow. tight fit. Yeah. Oh, yes. You're in charge Look of that so pretty. Lovely. Yeah, Madame at Toute Fair, she was uh, very happy to see it. <laughs> they but smile when they see us. It's not nice. It is nice. It beats the alternative. I think it's quite marvelous that it's still that this still all works. Yes. Oh yes. Yeah, and the and the the uh, pressure that was coming through there. It, it was a lot, right? Oh yeah. yeah. So I it's, mean, there's nothing that's where there's a crack underground or anything where it's losing right. anything because that that it was gushing through the these spigots. Probably do us. Right, I'll go back since I'm turn on. Give okay. us a shout, everything's okay. Okay.
So we have water in outbuildings that we didn't know had water attached to it, or I mean, we knew it was in the past because when you have spigots or faucets, you go, okay, so there must be water, but it's not necessarily connected or might have burst underground. I mean, mm -hmm. there are plenty of things. And sure. the only reason this was not gushing before really was because the, the uh, line was so corroded, it was shut. Yeah. So there was no water getting through. Um, so now that was really fantastic. We were kind of really tickled to death, weren't we? Oh yeah. Really yeah. excited. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, we have quite a bit of delays in the two bathrooms that one of them should be completely done, but it's not. And the other one should be further advanced, which it is, but not as much as I would like it to be. And there's a reason for it. <laughs> right. So uh, if you've seen previous episodes, you know that we had a little bird family. Yes. In our workshop. Yes. So lovely. The swallows, it's beautiful to have them and they have a nest right above our saw mm -hmm. or slightly moved so they, they poop next on the floor next to the saw. So it's not on the saw, it's like, no problem. In any case, one of those days I went through the our garage, which used, used to be the coach house. Right. And to pick up something from uh, the workshop, the back of the workshop, so we don't disturb the birds. And one was still in the nest, two were apparently jumped out of the nest, um, not being able to completely fly, but they just said, ee, I'm coming. Yeah. In that instance, uh, both two of the ones that were in on the floor uh, flew out. So I got one back right away and the other one so it saw in the middle of the courtyard, then flying into yeah, going the wrong our way. hedge. Going the wrong way. And so that, that was bad. Yeah. <laughs> so it was 38 degrees, what's that, 96 or something. It was hot. Mm. And so we had to get into our hedge there and it took us a little over an hour. And uh, hooray, we did get the little swallow. Yeah. Uh, picked it up carried it over, put it in the basket, and within five minutes it just jumped out. And parents all day, back, I mean, not back in the, the work, Back in the workshop with all the others, yes. But it was while we were trying to pick, to, to, to pick it up, to get it back in the workshop, we had about 30 swallows above us screaming at us, mm. kind of like, what the heck's wrong with you? And I can't blame them. So the nice thing is that uh, three days ago, mm -hmm. We approach the workshop and we always leave the door open so the adults can go in and out. And we have the, the oddity in a way that we have three adults caring for, their, for three chicks, which is lovely. Um, and we were standing right next to the door and all six of them flew out together. So that was great. Mm -hmm. uh, however, still the parents feed them in the workshop. Mm -hmm. uh, they sleep in the workshop. So we don't have a saw. We don't have certain things to do. It's only a matter of a few more days. Right, and, and then we get our workshop back. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I can, I can honestly say it was such a relief to find that chick, mm. return it. Um, it was also nice for the, the swallows not stop screaming at us. Mm. <laughs> but so the, the fact that all three of them survived and, and just this evening with the swallows of, of this area, they accumulate above our, our courtyard mm -hmm. and so they're over 50 now mm -hmm. um, zooming around you can Circling. still yes you can still tell the, yeah. the, the, the chicks because they they still don't have the, the swallow tail so they have short feathers and they're a bit more stubby than the adults uh, and we did have Stuart looked it up uh, falcons are a bit of a danger mm. But with all the adult swallows, um, we've seen a falcon family around here, and the adults were just going and picking at them, and so they they um, chasing them away. Yes, yeah. so they, they we haven't seen them in a day, so it's uh, it's just fantastic that um, and, and well, most people in 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 the German speaking or Germanic languages would say swallows are bring luck. So we're good. Yeah, we they are. all made it, so it's lovely. Right. And um, 
next week we might finish. <laughs> right. Any day now, I might be able to start using the saw again. Yes, but it's um, it, it made us incredibly happy to see it them did, fly, yeah. and it's um, it's just a, a small delay. I mean, it's not it's not that big of a deal. No, it is really isn't. No. So on that note, right. So <laughs> so for Friday. Uh, we do have we have made some advances yes. in uh, uh, both of the bathrooms actually yes. since you've seen them last time. So we'll have updates in both of the bathrooms on Friday. And we're going, I think. And we <laughs> what a surprise! We went to oh. another brocante. Yes, and, uh, the most fascinating one we've ever been to mm -hmm. so far. Um, also, the also what what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, also the most strenuous we've ever been to because. It's a medieval town, and they basically the entire town was closed for traffic. But the five parking lots were so well, quite a distance away. So you had to get like a gorge. So you have to go all the way down. Mm -hmm. And if you find something that you bought or found something, you had to carry it all, all the, the way, way up with a nine percent decline or incline. Right. Whoa! It was fantastic. You loved it. Mm -hmm. On that note. So that will be for yeah. Friday. So, uh, If you like this episode, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. It helps us tremendously. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it really is huge for us. And if you want to support the restoration of the chateau, you can join us on Patreon. Or buy me a coffee. And we will see you on Friday. Absolutely. Au revoir. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.